So in order to be able to interface with the robot in real time and communicate back and forth, we will need to set the robot up in some kind of local network so that we can, through TCP and low level communication, like talk back and forth, all right? Um, the way I've set that up here is with, with a small router, like the kind that you can buy uh, anywhere for like 40 bucks, is the kind that you would use for your own uh, internet connection. And this one has, uh, it's just the router, it's not a modem. So this, with only this, I cannot connect to the internet. Um, but I, here I have created a local network in which I have plugged with this cable to the back of the switch. I have plugged in the controller, all right, through the ethernet port from the controller. And I am connected into the local network, not to the internet port of the switch, all right? And on the other one, I have connected my computer with an ethernet adapter so that I am wiredly connected to the local network. It's advisable that you control robots with a wired connection, not a wireless one, because if it's open to wireless connection, anybody could connect, or you could go remote and not be next to the flex pendant. There's all these safety issues, all right? Um, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that both the robot and your computer are on the same local network. So for that, we need to configure the robot to be on the network. And we can go here with a flex pendant. We can go to set up robot, set up network. And there's two ways to do that. You can either have the robot be on DHCP. So that's a mode in which it is the router, the one that assigns an IP to the robot. Or what I've done here is I have manually set up a static address so that I know, I will always know which is the IP of the robot. Uh, I don't have a preference for either way. Um, I've set it up as static here just for commodity. And I have set the IP of this robot to be 192.168.0.101, all right? Which means that in the local network between my computer and the switch and the robot, this will always be the IP of the robot, which I can use to talk to the robot, all right? Um, so a good way of, once we have set this up, a good way of knowing if everything is working is by open, opening, opening a command prompt for your computer, all right? And then here I can do a couple of things. I can say IP config and see that my ethernet on my ethernet, my local IP is 192.168.0.102. I see that the local, the IP of my computer on this network is very similar to the IP of the robot. That's a good sign. They're only off by one number. And the subnet, the subnet mask is the same one. So we're gonna be good. But the ultimate proof is pinging the robot and see if we get a response. So what I can do is I can ping the IP of the robot, so I've lost 192.168.0.101. And if I get responses, like I am doing right now, then it means that they are seeing each other within the network and communication is flowing. So that's a good sign, all right? So we are ready to now open Machina and start interfacing with the robot in real time.